So you just heard about this stock market thing. You wanna buy some stocks but, how do you even do that? Purchasing stocks isn't pretty much as convoluted as it appears, however you'll have to do some exploration and get familiar with the dialect before you make your first investment. And if you've never even placed a trade before, you're in exactly the right place. We're going to be talking about how to get to where and how we're placing our very first stock trade. But before we begin, we publish new videos every week so be sure to subscribe for more great content. First thing. To buy stocks, you'll first need three things. 1. Select an online stockbroker. 2. Research the stocks you want to buy. 3. Decide how many shares to buy. And now. Let's begin first of all by define what is meant by buying a stock. When you buy a stock of company you own a small little fraction of that company. When that company grows, your share also grows as well, so why would you want to invest into a stock in the first place? The simple answer is to grow your wealth, for example when you invest your time into a skill that skill will grow over time, in that same way when you invest your money into a growing company your money will also grow over time. It may seem confusing at first, but buying stocks is really pretty straightforward. Here are the three steps to help you buy your first stock. First, how to select an online stock broker. In order to be a trader, you need an online broker, therefore, the first thing you need to do is open a broker account. In the markets, there are many areas of trading, so merely ask yourself, what area of the market do you want to get involved with and trade? For example, are you looking to invest in stock, or bonds, commodities, futures, or you may want to try cryptocurrencies? Or perhaps you're thinking you want to do a mix, that's fine. All you need is to focus on finding friendly broker who offers stocks and other trading in some aspect. If you are not sure about what areas of trading you want, then no worries, it is not the end of the world. Bear in mind, you can have many broker accounts at once and, you can always change brokers if you need to. Opening an online brokerage account is as straightforward as setting up a bank account. Most brokers encourage you to easily open a brokerage account online, and you don't normally require a lot of cash to do it. In reality, certain brokerage companies allow you to open an account without an initial deposit. Before you buy investments, however, you will need to finance the portfolio. By moving funds from your checking or savings account, or from another brokerage account. Second, research the stocks you want to buy. Keep the target simple, you're searching for enterprises that you want to be an owner of. A good way to start is by studying businesses that you already know as a customer from your experiences. Now it's time to do a little digging after you've established these enterprises. Begin with the company's annual report, precisely the annual letter from management to shareholders. The letter will provide you a general narrative about what's going on in the organization and provide explanation for the report figures, such as SEC filings, conference call transcripts, quarterly earnings updates and recent news. Most online brokers also provide tutorials on how to use their tools, and even basic seminars on how to pick stocks. Finally, decide how many shares to buy. You don't need a ton of money to buy into the stock market. In some cases, you can get started with as little as $1. The question, is it worth it to buy one share of stock? The answer is yes, it's worth it. You can always add more later. For example, instead of purchasing one share for roughly $3,200, you can purchase 0.03125% of one share for $1. You could buy a fractional ETFs that tracking stock indices such as SPY. With only one share you get exposure to hundreds of stocks. But your profits, in actual dollars, would be proportionate to your investments. You need to bear in mind that cheap stocks do not always necessarily make good buys. 
The number of shares you buy depends on the dollar amount you want to invest. In another way, if the stock price is $51 and you have $500 to invest, you'll only be able to purchase 9 shares, as 10 shares would cost $510. The most important thing is that you need to achieve the highest long-term returns without taking extreme short-term volatility. This is what known as optimize your stock portfolio. Such that the portfolio gives us the maximum sharp ratio. That is the point where returns are the highest and risk is the lowest. There are some ideas or strategies that will boost your investment results and help you build a better portfolio such as assigning an optimization weight for each asset class and all assets within that class. Portfolio optimization is an important part of creating an investing strategy and managing it over time. It requires a sensible assessment of your desired returns, stage of life, risk tolerance, and investment preferences. Bottom line. A few months any small amount that you invest early on will pay huge dividends and growth and profit over time, so I encourage you to just start small, because starting is the hardest part. The moment you start a whole new world is going to open up for you and every single year you're only going to get better and better. Well with that said I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below, feel free to share to anybody you feel like that needs to hear this, and I'll be sharing a lot more about money investing and my personal investing journey on this channel, so if that's something that you're interested in feel free to subscribe, and hit that bell notification and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video. Then make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss a single video.